All right, 101 week eight, part 11. I fucked up and pushed the wrong button and accidentally canceled that video early. Sorry about that. Anyway, I was asking you if you were going to quote that Robert Frost thing in here. Um, and the answer is no, you're not. Brainyquote.com. See, I, I pushed the wrong button when I flipped it. Brainyquote.com. Are you going to quote this in your paper? No, you are not. There are a bunch of different reasons why you're not going to quote this in your paper. Let's go over them. Number one, fucking advertising. Look at this. This is the got the Coles Mom's Day mega sale at the top and a Phoenix uni, uh, um, this university program to go to. That you don't want fucking advertising in your your research. It's stupid. Number two, it is true that Robert Frost is a famous person and a trustworthy person. That's cool, okay? But what book is this quote from? What page is this quote from? How come I can't read any sentences before or after this quote? Um, I, I told you guys, you gotta read a couple of pages before and a couple of pages after the quote. I can't do that here. Um, so that makes it not trustworthy. They don't mention the name of the book. So it makes me wonder if Brainy Quote is correct. Did Robert Frost really say that? Well, without looking at an actual book that Robert Frost wrote, I don't know if he really said it or not, and so it's not trustworthy. Um, there's another problem with it, too. For starters, it's way too short. Uh, but, but also, a poem begins in delight and ends in wisdom. Well, okay, I mean, that, that's a quote about how poems are fun, but they're also smart, um, to put it in my own words. But there's a bigger problem here. That's a quote about all poems everywhere. Now, if you're writing a paper about a poem, your research should have something to do with that poem. This is a quote about all poems everywhere. It's not relevant to what you're doing. Because again, uh, if you had a bunch, if you had a poetry class, every student in the class could quote that for research. It's not specific enough to your topic. It's not gonna work. All right, let's get another one. Um, Okay, this is Wikipedia, and they have Wikipedia has a section on Macbeth, and this is a whole lengthy discussion of Shakespeare's play Macbeth. Can you quote Wikipedia in your papers? Now, most of my students know they're not allowed to quote Wikipedia, but sometimes they're a little unclear why. Um, there's a couple of reasons. Number one, Wikipedia doesn't have a single author. It's just authored by lots of different people who get together and make it. Are those people experts? Not really. Now. This is the problem with Wikipedia. I love Wikipedia. I use it for fucking everything. I was making dinner the other night and the recipe called for black garlic. And I was like, what the fuck is black garlic? And I looked it up on Wikipedia and I learned something. Wikipedia's usually got a lot of correct information. But in a college paper, I gotta have an author and Wikipedia doesn't have an author. So it, and I, cause I, and it, without an author, I can't check to see if it's being written by an expert. So it's no good. The other problem with Wikipedia is too simple. Uh, now Wikipedia is often correct. I think Wikipedia, now every once in a while there's bullshit on Wikipedia, but Wikipedia is pretty trustworthy in my experience. But the problem is it's also, it has no author, so you can't quote things without authors in college papers. More importantly, um, it's too simple. It'll give you a summary of the play. It will give you information about, the, about, play, about, about Shakespeare, and, and, and it's, it's, it's useful. But it's too simple. It's just like basic ideas and summary. Now. Does it mean that you're not allowed to read Wikipedia? No, please read Wikipedia. In fact, I told you earlier this semester, Plato's Phaedrus, I said, go look up Plato's Phaedrus on Wikipedia and learn about it. Um, Wikipedia is a great thing to help you learn, but not, it's not advanced enough to quote in your papers. But look, sometimes I will read a book and then years will go by and I forget what the book's about. I go on Wikipedia, I read a summary of the book and I'm like, oh yeah, this book, I forgot the name of that character. Um, is it, is it correct? It's probably correct. In fact, oftentimes I'll gamble on it and I'll just, I'll, I'll just re use Wikipedia to refresh my memory on something. Um, but it's too simple to quote as, to count as a research in your paper. But it's a perfectly good, if you're feeling confused about Plato and Phaedrus or about Shakespeare, go look it up on Wikipedia. Reading it will help you learn. But that doesn't mean it's worth quoting in a research paper, right? It'll help, it, it'll help you, please go. Go read it. It'll help you. Um, it's a very helpful thing to read about Shakespeare or Plato on Wikipedia. You'll learn a lot. But it's not good enough to quote because it's too simple and it has no author. But use it. Please feel free. I really think Plato's Phaedrus is easier to understand if you read the Wikipedia entry on Plato's Phaedrus. It will 100% help you. Okay. Let's take a look at something else. Oh, I forgot to mention. At the bottom of the Wikipedia page, though, 
there are footnotes and you can click on them. Those footnotes, which is where they got their information from in the Wikipedia article, those footnotes will often take you to essays written by experts. And then you can quote that. So you can't quote Wikipedia, but you could. Like, let's say, let's say I told you you had to write a paper on Agamemnon. And you were like, I don't know who the fuck Agamemnon is. So you put Agamemnon into Wikipedia. And then you get a whole article about Agamemnon. Can you quote that? No. But at the bottom of the Agamemnon article, and Agamemnon's an ancient Greek hero, and then at the bottom, there's a link to an essay written by a professor of ancient Greek studies about Agamemnon. Click on that, boom, there's the essay. You can quote that. Why? Because that link, that footnote, takes you to an essay written by an expert. And then you can quote the expert. So, looking good. Okay, let's do another one. Spark notes. Students love spark notes. Um, spark notes, just like Wikipedia, it gives you a lot of summary, it gives you a lot of. Um, basic ideas, but I, you can immediately see the problem with this. Too much advertising. Also, who wrote this? I have no idea. There's no author written here. Um, and it's too simple. It's like high school level. So again, is that, does that mean SparkNotes bad and you should never go on that website? No, I go on SparkNotes. I find SparkNotes to be very useful. They take Shakespeare plays and they translate them into modern day English. Totally helpful for helping you understand Shakespeare. But just because something helps you to learn, doesn't make it good for official research that counts as research in the college classroom. So please, use SparkNotes, use Wikipedia to help you know things, but don't quote them in your papers. Find something better to quote. Okay. All right, cool. Ah, now here's an interesting one. Now we get into some weird territory here. Animal Farm by George Orwell. Now, Animal Farm is a book. A lot of my students know this book. Um, it's about talking animals, and it, it, is, it teaches an important lesson about society. Can you quote Animal Farm? Uh, as a, it's a very good book, famous book, a lot of my students have read it. Um, can you quote Animal Farm by George Orwell in your, in your essays? Is it research? No, it's not. But for a weird reason, because people are like, wait a minute, George Orwell's a famous author, this is a very famous book, he's a very trustworthy person, how come I can't quote it? Because it's fiction. Fiction, very good thing to read. I recommend you read fiction. Fiction's not research. So you can't use it as research. Fiction is not research. It's a separate thing. Research is, um, a re research is unusual facts or expert opinions. Unusual facts or expert opinions. But Animal Farm is fiction, which means it's neither fact nor opinion. It's talking animals. You cannot quote it um, in, in your papers. I, I, I am, um, for, so for example, I had a student um, that was writing about a paper on Batman. And he, I said, you do, what research did you find? He said, well, did you know that Batman's dad built the Gotham City subway system? And he was like, that's my research. First of all, that's not, I was like, dude, that's not research. First of all, Tom, Batman's dad is not a real person. He's a fictional character. That's fiction. That's not research. Um, research would be finding out who invented Batman, find out a little bit about the facts about their biography, or what people thought about Batman when he was invented in 1939. That's research. That's unusual facts. Or find a superhero expert like me um, and quote my book where I discussed Batman. That's my, my expert opinion on Batman. Now you got research. Um, but if you find out that Batman's dad um, uh, you know, helped build Gotham City, that's not research. That's more fiction. Um, and fiction isn't research because research is expert opinions uh, or unusual facts. All right, cool. This is going pretty well. Um, I'll pick this up in the next one.